This is Speak My Word Ministries, Travis Zimmerman. The Daily Pulse today is about missing the mark. And I want to share with you out of the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 20. This is the wisdom of Solomon. I love going into Solomon's books here and just reading what he has, because most it's a way of not doing it. And it's, a, it's like a sober-faced, you know, Monday morning kind of reality that's, that Solomon shares. It's all God's truth. This is Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 20. There is not a righteous man on earth who does what is right and never sins. None of us. And in one of my divinity classes at Liberty, we were studying hamartia. It's from the ancient Greek. It means missing the mark. And it's related to sin in this case. Sin is missing the mark. You know, <laughs> it's kind of an embarrassing daily pulse, but hey, I'm full of embarrassing stories. You, know, I, you look back on your life and you realize there's just some things that you missed. That you, you missed, whether it was your fault or not. You know, as I was... Growing up, you know, my I was a little taller than my brother, who was about two and a half years younger than me. My dad always said, "Hey, he's going to be taller than you." And my dad was right. He ended up, you know, going up to six foot three. I made five eleven. I was one inch short of a six feet. And you know, I always kind of like, well, why did I make six feet? You know, my dad was six feet. My brother was six foot plus, and so I missed the mark on that. You know, another instance I would hold out is is. You know, going to the gym and weightlifting. I've been lifting for 20 years, and you know, always like 300 was the was the weight I was trying to get to. It, these you know, have all these plates on the side, and I got up to 295. I think it was 1996. It was I got up to 295, did it once, and I never did it again. I, you know, 295 couldn't get to the 300. I was missing the mark. You know, until recently, one of the things I couldn't get over was 200 pounds, and that 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 comes a little easier as you get older. You're not being able to get up to that. And, and the last one I would share is from the SAT perspective. You know, I'm going to get a 1200 so I could get in the academy, and as you know, I went to Penn State and very thankful for that. But I got 1190. I missed one question. I was one away from <laughs> one away from making. I'm, I'm 1200. I missed the mark, and, and that hamartia, that that missing the mark that we talk about being in sin, that Solomon points out and Jesus points out, Paul points out, we constantly sin, and when we sin, we miss the mark. And it's 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 kind of funny when we <laughs> we don't make 200 pounds or we, we can't lift 300, but really sin is not a joking matter. It's a matter of choosing Jesus over our own selfish impulses and desires. And that's difficult to do by ourselves. In fact, I would say it's impossible to do it for long term, you know, longer than a day, <laughs> because we sin. And when Jesus comes into our life, you know, through his Holy Spirit, he helps us make better choices. Even us Christians who know Jesus with all our heart, we sin mightily. We sin all the time, but we are forgiven. And when we do sin, it's, that's why it's so important to, sin, to go to God. When, right as you catch yourself in a sin, it's like the first rule of holes. When you're in one, quit digging. Just say, Father, please forgive me. I've sinned. I thought this. I said this. I did this. Please forgive me. We are saved by God's grace alone through the blood of Jesus Christ. So when, G when God looks at us, he sees us through Jesus' perfect, perfect image, Jesus' perfect essence. But sin is missing the mark. Rely on Jesus. It's why it's so important to be in the Word and be reading it, meditating it, memorizing it, be praying, and just be surrounding yourself with Jesus so we can be changed wholeheartedly from the inside out in Jesus' name. Amen. Right on target, Lord.